Chapter 6 The King is Dead Long live the king In January 1936 Edward went to Windsor for a few weeks He was tired of town life and he wanted to work in his garden and ride his horses But then one afternoon there was a phone call from Queen Mary Edward she said you must come back immediately your father is very ill and i think he's going to die when edward arrived he went straight to his father's room he walked to the side of the bed and kissed his father's white face the king opened his eyes and smiled then he took his son's hand and said be a good king edward and be good to your mother yes father i will the king closed his eyes and did not speak again just after midnight he died then queen mary took edward's hand and kissed it my child you are now king she said softly god be with you his three brothers came to him one by one and they each kissed his hand the king is dead long live the king they said at 1 o'clock edward left the room to telephone wallace my father is dead he said i'm so sorry sir i must stay here for a while edward went on but i'll phone you at the weekend nothing will change between you and me i love you more than ever and you will be my queen let's not talk about that now wallace replied you must go back to your family but you are my family wallace you are everything to me good night sleep well when wallace put the phone down that night she suddenly felt afraid edward is now king she thought but what will happen to me